let's just take Chipokelo's question. When do I plan my days the night before every morning? Okay, good. That's a very good, a good question. Um, so let's uh, let's use that question, I think, then to um, jump into Kanban boards. Now, Chipokelo, now, yes, you will probably have some sort of routine of when during the day you're able to, you know, spend time on planning versus spending time on actually doing things. And it's very dangerous to be perpetually planning or perpetually working. You know, you need to, Stephen Covey always says, to sharpen the saw. So there's no point trying to cut down a tree with a blunt saw. You need, because it's going to take you so long. It's better to pause, take some time, sharpen the saw, and cut the tree in less time. So your, your planning activity that you're talking about there just makes you more efficient when you actually do the work. And you're trying to optimize when you actually do that. Now, I, in my personal response to this question, would say it's for me a little bit more on a weekly rhythm. And we'll talk about this idea of cadence just now. And cadence is exactly what Chipokela is talking about. Cadence is the rhythm that you establish in managing your tasks or your timetable or your plans or the work that you need to do. And what I did in my PhD, and just to make it absolutely real for everybody, is Sunday night, I would um, send my supervisors a weekly status report. And if a number of you have done some of my courses on this topic, you'll know how I teach this and help you, uh, obviously, use that technique um, to get through your studies, not just as a good discipline for managing your supervisors and getting through your work, but also to establish that, this idea of cadence and a regular time in the week where you recap on the progress that you've made and the progress that you want to make in the coming period. Now, Chipokela, you may prefer to do this on a weekly, uh, a daily basis, and your cadence would be then a 24-hour rhythm. For PhD, you know, I think maybe a week is fine, but if you're on a one year, then uh, sure, maybe a day or a work day, Monday to Friday type of thing might be better. And my advice would be pretty much that I would suggest just the, the, the evening before um, so that when you wake up, you use your freshest time to do that thinking and academic analysis that, you know, many of us are required to do. So, Kenneth, uh, just to answer, you know, I would say the evening before, provided you've had a good day. <laughs> so it's cyclical, right? So don't obviously leave it till 12 o'clock the night before to plan your next day because you're going to be tired, you're not going to be in a good mental state. But maybe just before dinner, so late afternoon, hopefully you've had a productive day, you can calibrate how much you're able to get through in a day. Therefore, you're not going to put too much on the list for the next day. When you wake up in the morning, you might have a disproportionate sense of how much you're able to get done during the day. Now, remember, Ramona woke up 6.42, burnt her boats, and she had a very productive day. Now, that not every day is going to be like that. You need to take an average view of how much you're able to get done during the day. And then I would suggest the night before, think about whatever else is happening the next day. Maybe, you know, you've got commitments and you need to plan around those, et cetera. And you, I would suggest update your Kanban board. And that's exactly what I want to teach you about um, in this module or this section of the webinar.